Hello, my friends. This is Greg Munger from yogizindu.com. Get both of these symbols to work. Okay. And today we're going to continue. Uh, um, well, I started uh, reading from the Master Key System, got up to uh, Part 2. Uh, I think there's a little bit left in that, and then we'll move on to Part 3 and 4 and just continue on through like that. Learning more about how love equals abundance. How love equals abundance. Love and harmony equals abundance of all kinds. How can how can I be more loving in this situation? How can I be more loving with this person? Help me realize all this, all souls around me as infinite divine souls. So we'll go to part three. <clears throat> um, direct your effort to a realization of the mental resources always at your command, from which all real and lasting power comes. Okay, the whole paragraph. Eliminate, therefore, any possible tendency to complain of conditions as they have been or as they are, because it rests with you to change them and make them what you would like them to be. Direct your effort to a realization of the mental resources always at your command, from which all real and lasting power comes. Wow. Persist in this practice until you come to a realization of the fact that there can be no failure in the accomplishment of any proper object in life. If you but understand your power and persist in your object, because the mind forces are ever ready to lend themselves to a purposeful will in the effort to crystallize thought and desire into actions, events, and conditions. Persist in this practice until you come to a realization of the fact that there can be no failure in the, in the accomplishment of any proper object in life. If you but understand your power, and persist in your object, because the mind forces are ever ready to lend themselves to a purposeful will in the effort to crystallize thought and desire into actions, events, and conditions. Yeah, does God love us? Look at what He gave us. Man. Mentally concentrate on the object of your desire. When you are concentrating, you are impressing the, um, the subconscious. The subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is a part of the universal mind. The universal is the creative principle of the universe. A part must be the same in kind and quality as the whole. This means that this creative power. Is absolutely un, is absolutely unlimited. This means that this creative power is absolutely unlimited. It is not bound by precedent of any kind, and consequently has no prior existing pattern by which to apply its constructive principle. The subconscious mind is a part of the universal mind. The universal is the creative principle of the universe. A part must be the same in kind and quality as the whole. This means that this creative power is absolutely unlimited. 
It is not found by president of any kind, and consequently has no prior existing pattern by which to apply its constructive principle. You are simply to say what you desire, not how you are to obtain it. You are simply to say what you desire, not how you are to obtain it. You are simply to say what you desire, not how you are to attain it. It only requires recognition to set causes in motion which will bring about results in accordance with your desire. Part 4 The eye must be something which controls and directs both the body and the mind. Something which determines what they shall do and how they shall act. When you come into a realization of the true nature of this I, spirit, your soul, you will enjoy a sense of power which you have never before known. This is because the individual is a part of the universal. A part cannot antagonize any other part, but on the contrary, the welfare of each part depends on a recognition of the interest of the whole. The trained mind knows that every transaction must, must benefit every person who is in any way connected with the transaction, and any attempt to profit by the weakness, ignorance, or necessity of any other will inevitably, will inevitably operate to his disadvantage. This is because the individual is a part of the universal. A part cannot antagonize any other part, but on the contrary, the welfare of each part depends upon the recognition of the interest of the whole. I can be what I will to be. I can be what I will to be. I can be what I will to be. Okay. Every time you repeat it, realize who and what this I is. Try to come into a thorough understanding of the true nature of the I. If you do, you will become invincible. That is, provided that your objects and purposes are constructive and are therefore in harmony with the creative principle of the universe. If you make use of this affirmation, use it continuously, night and morning, as often during the day as you think of it and continue to do so until it becomes a part of you, from the form the habit. Unless you do this, you had better not start at all, because modern psychology tells us that when you start something and do not complete it, or make a resolution and do not keep it, we are forming the habit of failure, absolute ign ign ignominious failure. If you do not intend to do a thing, do not start. If you do start, see it through, even if it even if the heavens fall. <coughs> if, you, if you make up your mind to do something, do it. Let nothing, no one, or fear. The I in you has determined the thing is settled. The die is cast. There is no longer any argument. But when you have learned to control yourself, you have found the whole, you have found the world within, which controls the world without. You will have become an irresistible. You will become Irresistible. Men and things will respond to your every wish without any apparent effort on your part. This is no longer, this is not so strange or impossible as it may appear when you remember that the world within is controlled by the I and that this I is a part for one with the infinite I, which is the universal energy or spirit usually called God. Thank you for being with me again. This is Greg Munger from yogizenti.com.